Kim, napalitaan mo na ba yung tukol dun sa dam? Ano? Dun sa dam? Ano? Yung dam? Ano? Ay! Dam yun! mo? Sa pag-construct kasi ng Sierra Madre Dam, kailangan i-divert o i-alter ang limang natural rivers na dumadali mula Sierra Madre na nasa North Luzon hanggang sa Lamon Bay na nasa South Luzon. Maaapektuhan ng vegetation, wildlife, aquatic life, ang buong ecosystem. Posibleng tumaas ang level ng tubig sa ibang lugar at magdulot ng pagbaha. Marami ding mawawala ng hanap buhay at tirahan dahil dito. Paano ba naman sila hindi magpaprotesta? And the dilemma is, which is right and which is wrong? To help us decide, let's start to weigh things. Yes to them or no to them? Let us first consider the act utilitarianism theory to solve this ethical problem. It focuses on individual action rather than rules, and the rule can be broken if doing so will lead to the good of many. One argument to consider about this dumb project is that it can provide a clean and renewable source of energy. No doubt that this is a yes to them. Another thing is that it can provide a cheaper cost of electricity, which is very tiny due to increasing generation charges on our bills. Another yes to them. And another thing is it can provide more supply of water to Metro Manila. More water to benefit more people means another yes to building this dam. Using act utilitarianism alone, we can say that it would be ethical to build this dam for the benefit of many. But we should also consider other theories such as rule utilitarianism which focuses on the moral rules such as do not harm others. This dam project poses danger to public safety because building this dam may cause water levels in some shore flooding high-risk area to increase more. That counts a no to building this dam. Another problem is the alteration of natural formations and river systems which can indirectly harm others in the long run because of possible landslides. Another no to dam. Rule utilitarianism theory clearly says that this dumb project is not ethical. But some more important points are yet to mention using another theory, which is the duty and rights ethics theory. It focuses on our moral duties and respect to the right to life, liberty, and property. One good point to consider is the loss of properties and decline of property values of the affected areas because massive land area is needed for this project to push through. Violating this right to property means a no to this dumb project. Another thing is the loss of different flora and fauna in the region, which clearly cause imbalance in one of the most important biodiversity sites in the world. That clearly states a no to them. And the last point will be on the loss of major means of living of the people in the affected area, especially tourism, fishing, and farming. That's another big no to this dumb construction. Another theory to be considered is virtue ethics. The dumb project proposal did not support any ill intentions nor promote good character traits such as honesty or loyalty. Therefore, this ethical theory is not appropriate for evaluating the issue. And as we can see, by pointing out the major important points, the balance says that 
constructing share of martyrdom is unethical. What we recommend to do? Develop hydropower plants in areas where there is a low impact on the environment and to the people. And clearly, not the Sierra Madre water dam.